Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to May's wrap up. I can't believe May came and went so quickly. In case you missed the second to last video, um, it was a vlog, it was a game board vlog and I did mention how I had cut my hair but it was like part one of two hair things that I was going to do um, and I did it y'all. I shaved off my hair. It's, it's not the first time I've shaved off my head by the way. Um, I just haven't shaved it off in quite some time. First time I did it was the side cut over here. Uh, second time was the undercut and I just absolutely love it. I did it on both sides by the way. If you are from the Dallas area, Pleasant Grove specifically, I'll go ahead and this is where I went. They were great, I loved it. It was my first time going there and I, I'm, I'm gonna be going back. It's gonna just look awkward, of course, when it starts growing out. That's the only reason I think why I was holding off on it was because I just know the awkwardness because again, I've had this shaved off bottom. The back part didn't really bother me, but this part, oh my God. Especially when you have like your whole head over here. At least here, I could always put my head down, my head down, my hair down and it'll cover it up. But let's go ahead and get on with the wrap up, okay? Of course, we're gonna start off with um, rewatches. Let's see, first time watches, we got rewatches. First time watches and then just the movies that came out May 2023. So, rewatch Book Smart. I freaking love this movie. It's so hilarious. I I absolutely adore it. Um, it's the kind of the girl version of Superbad. It's still very raunchy as well, like Superbad, but again, it just kind of has like those like more values and morals that we have today. It's like a favorite comedy for me. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to first time watches. And honestly, like May just really went by very quickly because when i was doing my list i was like i just saw you in may like i could have sworn i saw you a long time ago so first up is going to be the strange thing about the johnsons this is an ari oster film um so when i did watch Bo is afraid i did a review on tiktok and somebody was commenting and because we're talking about ari oster and everything on there and he goes look you should check this short out it's on youtube because i've never seen it it's like you should watch it somebody was all like don't watch it and of course somebody tells me not to watch it i'm like i'm gonna watch it oh my god i thought i shouldn't have watched it okay because it's like strange it kind of lives rip free in my head there's so much that's told within a short time so we're following this family and this their son oh my god i don't even want to tell y'all i'm not gonna tell y'all yeah you should, yeah, should watch it but don't watch it but just know there's like trigger warnings because there's like rape involved and stuff but not in the rape that you would originally think there would be like usually the parent i will tell you this you think it's the parent but it ain't the parent it ain't the uncle either there ain't no uncle here i don't even know where to put this to be honest with you know what let's um we're gonna put it like in the middle we're gonna add a row and we're gonna name this what the fuck did i just watch question mark exclamation point and that's where we're gonna put that little sucker because you're not saying you guys i don't know what i wash i don't want to tell you because it's best to go in there like not knowing it's best because then because it's a short but there's so much gajillionaire. I I remember when this movie was like came out. I think it came out during COVID. I kept hearing pretty good things about it. And I always just meant to watch because it's on Prime. And finally got a chance. I didn't even know Gina Rodriguez came on this. This movie is so good, y'all. Very, very good. It's one of those like strange, awkward type of movies. We're following this family. And they're a bunch of con artists, but they're not their typical like fancy con artists, like not anything like the oceans, you know, con artists. No, no, no. These are like low grade. They're like trying to see how much they can stretch this dollar. They're gonna like, just find every any way possible to like just con somebody, no matter how immoral it could be. The movie, honestly, for me, picked up once Gina Rodriguez like entered the conversation and she did great i really loved her i loved their chemistry together it's a really really great movie and i'm gonna put it under awesome and then we have air air came out early in the year we are following how, kind of how nike became this like nobody shoe company in the basketball business because it's all about adidas and, and converse 
and basically how they ended up getting Michael Jordan to sign up with them because he didn't want nothing to do with them. He was going to sign up with Adidas. He didn't even want to have a, a meeting with Nike. It's like, who, Nike who? No. And if Adidas wasn't going to do their thing correctly or whatever, they didn't, if they weren't going to take Michael Jordan, they were going to go to Converse. This has really nothing to do with Michael Jordan. You don't even see Michael Jordan. This is about Nike, the development of the Air Jordan, and also how their collaboration ended up helping out future athletes. The agreement of, okay, we're not just going to take the general pay that every athlete normally gets when they sign up, just this lump sum. It's, we're going to get the lump sum, but also everything, like all the profits that are made, we're going to get some of those profits as well from here on out. And it really just opened up so many doors for like future athletes to also get more endorsements and more um, profit, right, out of whatever merchandise that they have their name attached versus just getting this one lump sum that at the end, it's really, they're cheating out the athlete, right? Um, it's a, it was a really good movie. I think it was a really, f like, a feel-good movie, honestly. It, it wasn't, like, my favorite, like, based on a true story. Um, it has a really great cast. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to what came out May 2023. If you have skipped around and you're like, am I in the right place? Yes, you are. You are in the correct place. So we're gonna start off with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This a story is based more off of Rocket. He kind of goes through things, you know, we get more of his past. You know, there's always been mention of his past and how he was ripped apart and everything, but we really get into it in this movie. So just gonna be pre-worn, like trigger, I guess there as well. Um, animal cruelty, you will see that here. Um, you do see one of the better MCU villains, I feel like. It really hits all the emotions, laughter, sadness, love, um, anger because of the uh, animal cruelty involved and it just it hits everything it's definitely a theatrical experience I feel like so if you maybe haven't been to the theater in a long time I feel like this might be the movie to really get you back into the theater at least maybe just for like an outing great family movie and it's a favorite it's just a favorite of the year so it's gonna go up there in the general favorite area and we're gonna move on to fast X. I do have a review on this. I have a review on Guardians. Oh, actually, I don't think I have a review on Guardians. I have a, a TikTok review, maybe. I don't know. Whatever I have, as always, um, I will link down below. Continuing with this ridiculous franchise that, let's face it, as much as we love to hate, we love it. We go back. Because that's why they keep making it, right? Like, why are you still making these movies? Better question is, why are we as a public still watching it right that's why they keep making it because we keep going and then we talk shit about it but you know what we're going so of course you're gonna make it it's a good time y'all it really is it's fast and the furious what do you expect what do you expect from these movies at this point this is part one of like a three-part ending to the franchise if it is indeed the end of a franchise it should have ended with at fast what is it f s7 Fast and Furious 7, I think that's when it should have ended. Like that, that should have been done. Jason Momoa really is the best part of it. Like he embodied a sense of Joker. I'm gonna say it was, I feel like great is too high up. Okay, I'm gonna say it was a feel good movie. It's, it was a pretty good feel good movie, but you know what, I'm gonna put it in front of air. It was a feel good movie, pretty much um great movie but like not great 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 okay i just don't want to put it too far down and last but not least we have the mother this stars jennifer lopez this is a netflix movie and i've heard nothing nothing but pretty bad things about it and i'm like let's check it out i had nothing to watch well was like we're gonna check it out okay jennifer lopez pays is like ex-military person that kind of got involved with like some gun dealers and stuff ended up um in an entanglement, got pregnant, found out some very bad things about these people and ended up reaching out to the FBI. So now of course they want to kill her. She has to give up her daughter, unfortunately, to protect her, to you know make sure she's safe. But of course, years pass and of course they end up finding her because <laughs> that's what happens. Um, I didn't know that Guy Garcia Bernal came on this movie love that but we're in alaska we're fighting you know we're to believe that jennifer lopez is doing a lot of this like stuff but it was a, it was okay 
I didn't hate it. Um, I thought it was just a pretty okay movie. Just general Netflix movie. You know, um, not one that I really, really recommend, but if you are a fan of Jennifer Lopez, there's some new movie. Um, she's kicking ass. Well, she's more like a shooter. Long distance sniper shooter. This is what I watched in the month of May. Let me know down below if you're watching the same things. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And uh, where I ranked it. If you disagree, that's totally fine. Because you know what? This is my list and that's your list. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the session. Bye.